All right, we're going to start off by checking the battery. The compression number listed in the service manual is dependent on the battery being fully charged. If you get a low reading, it could be because your battery isn't turning the starter motor over fast enough to get an accurate reading. I'm going to do something here that most people never do, and that's test their tool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, push up the gauge with my air compressor, matching the gauge to my compressor, verifying I have two gauges that will read the same PSI. Here you see me putting in the hose adapter, hand tight, don't cross thread it, it should be that easy to go in or something's not right. Grease the end going into the spark plug hole to make it easier to insert. Alright here we go, make sure that you do this with the throttle wide open to get accurate readings. You're going to see here I pump it up, you probably tell by the look on my face, I'm like oop, something's not right. Always do a test a couple times if you get a bad number, make sure your tool isn't leaking, your hose maybe wasn't tight enough. And then I'll do a close-up to show you what the actual reading was. Only 30 PSI. I went ahead and charged the battery up a little bit more and got it up to almost 40. But take a look at this page out of the service manual. Suzuki calls for 135 and this is a decomp motor. Head over to the next video for leak down testing.